She's the new star of the hit VH1 show, Love and Hip Hop New York. And week after week, she brings the fab and the drama. Yes, she does. Today, however, she's here to give us the scoop on part two yeah. of the highly anticipated <laughs> reunion show. Diamond Strawberry, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, Diamond Strawberry. <laughs> We've got to talk about that name. Is that your real name? That is my real that name. That is your birth name. Yes. On your birth certificate, it says Diamond Strawberry. It says Diamond Nicole Strawberry. Diamond wow. Nicole Strawberry. <laughs> now, what's it like growing up with a name like that? Ooh, my name holds a lot of weight. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Uh, a lot of people have high expectations for me, and I'm finally beginning to live up to them. How many carrots are you? <laughs> <laughs> 26. So wait a minute. Well, let's talk about you. You are a, a, unabashedly a reality star. How did you get into mm -hmm. the groove of reality? Mm -hmm. You know, it was so unexpected. Um, I was dating Cisco at the time, and VH1 was interested in him. So, yes. you know, being his girlfriend, they kind of... That would incorporate you. Yes, 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 and it was a wonderful opportunity. So, I how's it been so far? <sighs> I've had more downs than ups. We've seen a lot. <laughs> of, yeah, we've yeah. seen a lot of the downs. How have you dealt with having cameras chronicle the tumultuousness of your relationship? Um, it was a strain. Yeah. It was a strain, but it was actually a blessing in disguise because I got to see who this man really was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think he was an opportunist? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel like. He used me yeah. to get on that show, well, to make his storyline great. Mm -hmm. So then how do you deal with the, the fighting, the trash fighting? I mean, because it's, is that like your reality or is it, the, is, do you, does it, does, do the cameras turn it up? Mm -hmm. Oh no, everything I say and do is all me. They just happen to catch me in the craziest scenarios. Gotcha. Really? Yeah. You got a temper on you, girl. I do, but I'm sweet until you uh, yeah, take me so there. Yeah, you're so nice you know? and lovely right now, but <laughs> Thank you. you don't play around. Oh, no, I don't. You don't? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you make of television capturing that side of you? Because yeah. we always want to put our best face forward, and sometimes they've caught you in compromising situations. Definitely. You know, on every show, there's the villain, the, yeah. the player, mm -hmm. the sweetheart. I just happen to be the angry little black girl. <laughs> the angry little black girl. <laughs> I'm you're sorry. You're very <laughs> angry on part one. So what happens in part two? Because it looks, we saw some clips and it looks very feisty. Give us a tease. Any oh, tease? I don't want to give any spoilers. Oh, okay. Just one. Um, a lot of things are just going to be cleared up. You know, um, the bathroom situation, rich dollars. Um, that seems to be like the number one thing going around. So that will definitely be cleared up. Okay. Now, I've got to break the fourth wall. Backstage is the legendary baseball star. Daryl Strawberry. Is that right? I didn't yeah. know. He's here? He is here. Oh, and he's your and father. And he is your father. Yes. <laughs> so what does he make of all of this? This is a new uh, lane for him to be chronicling with his little girl. Yeah. Um, although he doesn't like me being on, you know, reality television, mm -hmm. he supports me to the fullest, and I really appreciate it. Really? What advice has he given to you about being in the public eye? Oh, Lord. Um... He said, you know, just stay true to yourself. People are going to talk whether you're doing bad or good. As long as you know the truth, that's all that matters. You can't let the opinions of strangers get to you. Now, he should know. He went through uh, some challenging <laughs> oh, times. Yeah. How did that impact your life, mm -hmm. his um, ups and downs? It yeah. just and made me... very public. I mean, drugs, alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, very embarrassing also. Mm -hmm. um, it just made me not want to go in that direction, mm -hmm. always stay focused. And, yeah, I'm going to slip, I'm going to fall, but get back up, and that's exactly what he did. Yes, What's he the did. best piece of advice he's given you about managing the public eye, the limelight? Stay humble. Mm. Stay humble, never forget where you came from. Even though I was blessed to, you know, come up well, mm -hmm. I'm just never going to let that Hollywood stuff get to me. I'm still the same girl, and I always will be. Your teenage pregnancy inspired you to start a foundation for yes. young girls. Can you tell us the name and what the mission is? <laughs> Oh, it's so dear to my heart. Um, it's called a Safe Place Youth Center. It's in Los Angeles. Well, we haven't opened it just yet. We're very close to opening our doors, but it's dear to my heart because I got pregnant at 18, had my daughter at 19, and... What's her name? My daughter's name is Mylisa. Yes. 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 Um, even though I had the support of my mom and my dad, I still felt lost and confused, mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, like, I have a daughter. Like, my life is really about to change. And even though I had the support of my family, it was still crazy for me. So I could only imagine what the girls who have nobody no are support. going through. So I just feel like if I can be a blessing to them, why not? Why not? 
Now, you're using your reality perch for good, and you're also using it to advance your career. You've got a passion for fashion. Talk to us about yes, some of the lines you're working on. You look um, fabulous today, we might add. Yeah. Oh, my God, BCBG, Beautiful. everything. Thank you. That skirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got to get that after the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, when I'm not having a bunch of makeup on my face and I don't have to be in six-inch heels, mm -hmm. I like to relax and loungewear is my favorite thing. Okay. So I'm coming out with a line called Strawberry Stone. It's... Um, Shirts, hoodies, sweats, baseball caps, just anything to lounge in and look good. All right. Well, you're doing it. And you'll come back and do a fashion show. I will. That's Definitely. perfect. I like that. That'll be great. I'm glad I'm invited. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. You come back anytime. Bring your dad, too. Yeah. We get a two for one deal. Where is he? Yeah, where? where is he? Yeah. Is he in here? He was supposed to come in here. He's, no, stay back. Okay. We'll get him the next time. Okay. We'll All get right. him the next time. Well, Diamond okay. Strawberry with the fantastic name. Good to see you. Come back again soon. And you come back again, too. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.